Hello Cakes, how you doing? It's another wonderful day and I'm happy to come your way again. Hope you're feeling fine. Okay, so um, in my previous video, we spoke about um, the dilemmas that we have in our minds regarding our health, HIV and AIDS or COVID-19. As a follow-up, I received a bit of questions and comments and I'm here to respond to those comments. Okay guys, so um, one of the questions, one of the key questions was that um, why is HIV not easily transmittable through um, kissing or exchange of saliva? And that is what I'm here to respond to. Now, indeed, research has proven that um, HIV could easily be transferable in four main fluids. And these are vagina fluid or mucus, um, seminal fluid, blood and breast milk. Aside these fluids, any other fluids doesn't seem favorable. And so the breast milk is the main reason why um, HIV virus pa patients are really not encouraged to do exclusive breastfeeding. Okay, and I think in our next episode, we talk more extensively on that for us to understand so that we take precautions. Now, why is HIV not easily transmittable in the saliva or through kissing? This is because in our mouth, there are a lot of bacteria, enzymes favorable for our health. These bacteria act on our food. They help with digestion. And so in our science class, we learned that digestion of carbohydrates begins from the mouth. My, tell, my science teacher taught me right. So because of that, because of all these things, and even the pH level of, of the, I mean, acidic level in our mouth also doesn't make it favorable. So all these bacteria and all these acids and all these um, enzymes makes the HIV virus incapable. It doesn't give it the data strength to, you know, act and also be able to transmit from its current state to another person. So, and so it makes it impossible unless the person in question whom you are exchanging kisses with has a cut or bleeding in his or her mouth. If the person has bleeding gum or any bacteria infection and the person is you know, bleeding in his or her mouth, then whoever you're exchanging kisses with could infect you with the blood because there's a presence of blood and blood makes it conducive, okay? And it's important to know that all these um, bacteria in our mouth, there's a bit of them in the other fluids, that's the breast milk, the blood, and all of that. But then the concentration of this particular bacteria or enzyme, which is called, I don't know how to mention it, the scientists know this, this bacteria is more, its presence is a lot in our mouth, you see. So it weakens the strength of the HIV virus, making it impossible to transmit um, from the current person you are sharing kiss with to the other person, okay? So guys, with that said, I hope that you take care and know whom to kiss. You can share a holy kiss by giving each other pets. Don't try and go deep kissing and getting um, other infections and you may not be happy about it. Don't forget your sexual and reproductive health is indeed a priority and so you must always protect yourself. Use protection. If it's not on, it's not in. Use protection and also try and, you know, abstain if you can. If you cannot, stick to one partner. And if you cannot stick with one partner, please use protection and, and, and stay safe out there. COVID is still with us. Don't not forget your nose marks and stay safe. Until then, guys. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments and your questions. You can send me your questions in a DM. You can send it to me on my Instagram page. Or just leave it down there and I'll be more than happy to read them. Until then, guys. Take care and... Bye.